What is up people, this is the Oracle and we are back on MTGO for a new Eldritch Moon Draft and I've opened another Emrakul and last time that card has won me uh, all my games um, and here I can first pick her which means that it's gonna be most likely even better because I can build around um, I've been really impressed with that uh, I mean it's obviously great in, in, in Constructed not sure if you have followed the, the Pro Tour but um, a lot of miracles have been played uh, and is also castable and pretty good in, in limited I think. Um, other than that I guess Blood Mist is decent if you are trying to be aggressive. The Scarecrow can fit any deck as long as you are not trying to cast big things like a miracle, for example, a uh, big creature. Uh, Ruthless Disposal is pretty decent I would assume but I haven't played with the card yet. It's card disadvantage so I'm not sure. And then Prey Upon and Scavenger are the two best common, most likely. But either way, I think it's pretty clear cut uh, and miracle for me. Ooh, that pack is that pack is quite good. Incendiary, in, in, incendiary flow. I'm not sure how you, I should pronounce that, but pretty good rainfall, obviously. Dryad, pretty sweet, and works kind of well with the miracle because first. This is just a, a small desert creature which lets you trade and hopefully go to the late game. Second, it has Delirium which should be good, good with a Miracle. Stitch Wing is also pretty good but I think uh, I'd rather take the Dryad or the Flow. And then there's Ulvenwald Captive which is very good too and might just be better than the Dryad. But I wonder if I should just not... maybe I should just pick the, the, the Flow. I mean Flow is not the best thing to go with a Miracle. So maybe that's a reason not to pick that. I'd rather be green. Uh, green red is probably not the best shell for Emrakul either, but that could be a, that could be a sign that you know uh, red is open. It's a tough pick. Uh, I think I'd go with Dryad, uh, just because I have the Emrakul, and you know I'd rather be green and make that card good. Uh, maybe Captive was slightly better than Dryad. I'm not sure, but since there's another Captive here, I'm I think I'm pretty glad I took the, the Dryad last peak. I think it's fine. And here we don't see any really good red cards, so it doesn't feel like I'm missing a match. Crop Sigil could be pretty good in a Delirium and Miracle deck, I would assume. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty clear cut captive for me here. Okay. So now here this pack give me two options I think. Uh, the green card is not very appealing, not a huge fan of, of Wolfking Bond. Um, I think the two choices are either to pick the Disposal and go green black delirium, mid range and miracle stuff, good, you know, whatever, you know, delirium basically. <laughs> or to take the cultist and go blue green um, emerge. And I think Disposal is a better card and it's also a card I kind of want to try and I think it's pretty great in a Delirium deck because it lets you discard land. Um, I think I want to try this out. Um, and you know this this fits well with what I have already so I think it's a completely fine pick. Ooh, third, I mean fifth pick Shrill Howler is pretty nice. Just a very powerful creature. Um, Quite weak against red deck that tends to have quite a lot of you know one damage effect, but other than that, yeah, I mean that thing is is quite awesome. Okay, Boon of Miracle is great removal spell. Also pretty nice at giving you the uh, delirium. Certain death is fine too, but I think this is just better. And it seems like you are in the right colors. I mean there are still like. Four playable card though. Whisper of Miracle is not that great, but I guess if you can assemble Del Delirium soon, it could be decent. It's probably not good, but there is, you know, two good black cards. I would say one slightly better than, than than the other. A Vampire, which is clearly playable. An Eat of the Orid Swarm, which is a good green card. Field Creeper is decent for Delirium, so yeah, it, it really feels like we are in the right uh, colors and in the right archetype right now, which is really sweet. Um. I guess Wailing Ghoul do does help with Delirium, but I'm not a huge fan of the card. Um, Cryptolith Fragment... Well, it kind of depends on how aggressive I'll end up being, but it's it's pretty good and then the Patrol is a decent 3-drop. 
I'm not sure how good this is. I'd rather be red and you know beat down before I play that. It's pretty. It seems pretty decent though. I think I'm gonna try that out. Uh, it's an artifact for the delirium, and you know I'm trying to cast fairly big spells, so even though the the life loss is probably gonna be more annoying to me than for my opponent, I think it's still pretty decent card in my deck. Hopefully it will be. Not a huge fan of the ghoul, but I think it's the only option for me here. Uh, you know, if I'm lacking two drops, if I'm lacking delirium enablers, I could see myself playing that. It's not the not the end of the world. Not a great card, but a playable card nonetheless. I think I like the bone more than the supplicant here. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, Field Creeper is a decent one, I would assume, for the Delirium deck. And Spinner, well, maybe Spinner might be better. I don't have any 4 drop yet. I think Spinner is gonna be slightly better. It's actually a pretty good defensive creature. And I think getting 1 or 2 Field Creeper is not gonna be too hard. So I think I can I can afford to pick that. A slight chance that I play Cemetery Recruitment. Very slim chances, but maybe it could end up in the main deck. I think Hostility is the more threatening card here. Currently I'm just gonna leave the card I'm happy to play. Not even sure that I should be happy to play a Fragment, but you know, when I'm trying to cast an Emeracul, I'm playing a green deck that's more likely gonna have a decent, a mediumly high curve, an effect like this and that, that I can transform. I think this this should be decent, even though I, I don't really like, you know, losing life. And, th you know, there's still a slight chance that I end up splashing a third color. It's not very not very likely, but it could happen, in which case the, the fragment would help quite a lot. Okay, uh, I don't think I will play that, but I guess it's a sideboard option in some matchups. So I have two pretty solid Dreamvol, a cheap Death Toucher, which gives me some defensive, some nice werewolf creatures, and a Miracle. It seems like a pretty decent start, honestly. Uh, those are eight cards that I'm happy to play, and then in the you know, in the in the side I have, you know, something like two cards that I, I can play and the recruitments are playable obviously and Whisper is, is playable too, so it's pretty good. Savage Alliance is, is great. Not sure what this exactly does. It seems good. I mean just paying two for minus two minus two seems like something you could wanna do. Uh and then and then the dress effect can be pretty good. It also lets let you uh, put, I mean it's not really duress, you cannot take planeswalker, but uh, instant and sorcery is pretty good. And then uh, it lets you, you know, put a land into your graveyard potentially. And I guess the drain life could be relevant, probably not, but it could happen to be something I want to be doing. I think this is going to be slightly better than Shrill Howler. Uh, those are my two options here. But yeah, I think the brutality is, is slightly better. If this was pick one, pack one, I think honestly I would pick Savage Alliance over Brutality. That that card is just I think slightly be it's gonna be slightly better than Brutality most of the time. It is just so good. So good. It's 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 really nice. But you know, since I'm already in black green, I might as well pick the black card. Um interesting stuff. As I mentioned, Crop Sigil could be kind of good in my deck. I don't really think I want to add it right now, though. Um, Splendid Reclamation is kind of cute, but probably not playable. Not sure what this does, actually. Okay, that's just pretty solid card. Like, it's not unbeatable. But it's it's quite good for sure. Uh, Dronyard B Moth is pretty sweet too. Primal Druid is fine though, not so appealing. Same with Terrarian, Crop Sigil, and Foul Blood. Foul Blood. Hopefully, I'm winning one of these four cards. I think I'm just gonna pick Prey Upon, which is decent Dream Vault. Currently, I don't have very big creatures, unless I flip my Wolf. But you know, this is quite cheap and efficient, and uh, I don't have any. You know, I don't have any. Any any prey upon yet? I think it's a card you don't want to end up with like 
three or two is probably fine, but three or four prey upon in the same deck, not the best idea. But one is, is completely fine. One or two, you know, the, the first two are, are pretty good, that's what I meant. Yeah, Soul Separator is interesting, but I think a bit too slow. Face and Broken might be one of the best cards here. Uh, though I haven't seen that card being played or, you know, or played myself. I think you can get blown back quite a lot, but, you know, if the opponent doesn't have an answer, that's that's going to be game most of the time. Hamlet Captain would make up for a decent 2-drop. Not sure that it's going to be better than Graph Rat, because there, there's the off chance that I get the Scavengers. Best card in the pack might, might, might probably be Galvanic Bombardment. Either way, I think I'm going to pick the Graph Rats, which are not so exciting, but if I happen to get a uh, scavenger that could become decent. Do like grapple with the pass a lot in this deck. Really a lot. This is not really a, a deck for Lupine prototype. I mean you you need to have a very uh cheap curve to make that good. Guess is sweet but I'm not blue. Foul bloods and prey upon are decent but I think I really really want grapple in the pa with the pass in that deck. It's just great. It's just you know it's basically the best uh Delirium Enabler you can get. Ooh, Abandoned Mal. I haven't played that yet or played against it, but it seems pretty decent. Currently I don't have many good uh, Sacrifice Outlet, but I'm trying to ramp, kind of. So I could see, my, I could see myself uh, hard casting that. And hopefully I can wheel one of the two Primal Druid we saw. Again, I think this is slightly better than the second Prey Upon. And I need some big creatures to make my first pre up on good, so there is that too. Okay, I don't think I care about match here. I mean, I could pick the Supplicant. It's just not looking good at all in my deck. I guess sometime it could enable Delirium. But... I don't really want to lose life. Uh, I don't think I will ever play 2 Bone. I think I'm just gonna cut Dragonder. Which seems like the potentially more annoying card for me to face here. Uh, and I, I don't think I will ever end up playing one of these green or black cards in my deck. Ooh, and Miraculous Evangel is, is decent. I do like that card a fair amount. I've been pretty happy with it so far. Um, it's not insane, but you know, it's... Worst case scenario, you, you're gonna have a 3-2-4-3, a three, uh, three, which is kinda decent. And then uh, it can easily get slightly better than that doesn't take much. Like, if you have a few Primal Druid and stuff like that, you know, it's already quite nice. Even though I have an Emerge card and I'm trying to ramp, I think I still like the Eventual more than the Druid, by the way. Uh, okay, well, Field Creeper is not my favorite, but given that I'm trying to accomplish Delirium, it's gonna be a fine to drop in my deck, I would assume. Yeah. And it's not like there's anything else that's looking interesting. Guess I could see myself playing to Spinner. Not a huge fan, but might as well pick that. Pretty late Dragonder. I've been really happy with that card so far. Okay, Crop Sigil and Primal Druid wield. Hmm. <laughs> so most likely I will end up with only one Emerge creature. But I guess I also have the Evangel to use the Druid with. Um, and this card is gonna buy me time or give me some mana, which you know I need both. So I think it's quite good. Um, not sure how good Crop Sigil would be. I think I'm just gonna go with the Primal Druid, honestly. But Crop Sigil might be a better shot. I I'm not 100% sure it's the, the right move. I guess there's a sl I mean, this could be a sideboard option against, you know, very slow deck in grindy matchup. Not sure that I want to main deck that right away, though. But it might be better than I think it is. And I did not get uh, any Midnight Scavenger, which I think make the... Um, the Graph Rat's pretty mediocre. So for now I'll leave them in sideboard, but if I if I end up lacking to drop, I, you know, they might come, come back. Field Creeper is definitely better since it's an artifact. Okay, Ooh, quite a bunch of good cards here. Um, Gloom and Skinner are really nice in Delirium. I think I like the Skinner more. Trottle would be a decent removal, but I think I'm gonna go with Mysteries. That card was already extremely powerful in uh, Triple Shadows of Innistrad, and now since the 
the game are slightly slower, this is even better. Like you can really, really grind out your opponent. So I think I'm gonna pick that and hopefully I'm 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 winning something. But I think well best case scenario, Skinner or Trottle come back. I don't think it's very likely though. Gloom could come back, uh confront two. I think worst case scenario I will at least wheel a scavenger, which is looking quite solid in this deck, so it's fine. Currently I have 10 creatures, I think it's a bit light for the mysteries to be good. Uh, so hopefully I get, can get 5 more creatures, but I also kind of want to have removals. A bit more removal could be useful. So we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I will try to get some creatures here. Um, I don't think I like match of many of the cards here. I guess Watcher in the Web is decent. The biggest between that and the Accomplice. Uh, I don't think I can afford to play Moonlight Aunt. Hunt, I guess. Harvest Hand's not really my favorite. It's not really. It's not even an artifact that you can put in your graveyard, really. Um, so yeah, there's not not a whole lot. Uh, Watcher and Accomplice are fine creatures, but nothing too too exciting. Currently, I have three two-drop creature plus a two-drop removal, plus a grapple with the past, plus a dryad. I don't really need early drop that much, so I think I can afford to pick the Watcher, which is just pretty solid in the late game. Ooh, rabbit bite is sweet removal. Scarecrow is looking very, very good in my deck, though. I mean, I really need the mana, and it puts an artifact in my deck. I mean, rabbit bite is great, but I. It might be the first time where I actually wonder if this card could be better. Like this, this is looking super, super strong in my deck. Just give buys me time, give me mana, helps me with delirium. But I'm not even sure that's good enough to make it to make the card better than Rabbit Bite. It also, I mean, this will be better alongside Mysteries than Rabbit Bite. Currently I have one, one and a half, two, three, I guess four, four each removal, which is fine, but not that much. Uh, it's really close. Honestly, I would always pick the rabbit bite, but looking at my deck, I wonder if the scarecrow is not better. I think I took myself into picking the the scarecrow. Uh, it honestly, my 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 feeling is that it might be wrong, and it it feels wrong, but I'm almost sure that this is this is like uh, exactly what I want and a super important card for my deck. And also, since I have the mysteries, getting some creature is quite important. <laughs> Here I think I like Skinner more than well definitely more than Scavenger but also more than Hunter. Like if you can if you can have the Delirium, uh quite often that card is just gonna shine. Okay, Deadweight is pretty great. Uh sweet removal. Uh helps with delirium. Logger be fine, but I think this is slightly better. Lamp hold pacifist. Quill Wolf and Rancid Rat, a bunch of good 2-drops. I think the Pacifist is just better, though. Ooh, Vessel of Nascency is a sweet one. Very nice way to get Delirium. And I think this will end up being my main deck, unless I get some nice things uh, in the next boosters. Im High is a nice sideboard option, I will not main deck that, though. Ooh, the Gloom Wield, as well as the Confront the Unknown and the Scavenger. I think between these, that, uh, Deadweight, Boon, you know, my artifact, I will really get my Delirium pretty easily with that deck. So I wonder if Gloom is, is, is actually good. I think I want to pick a creature just because of the mysteries. Having a, f a 15th creature is going to be pretty good. Um, not, maybe the Scavenger is just better though. I'm not sure, it's kind of close. So now I would need to cut one card. Scavenger is also quite a good one to use with Spray Upon. I, I guess the um, the Gloom too. But Scavenger buys me time, whether I have Delirium or not, which I think it's, it could be pretty important. I wonder if the, Ma if the Mao is actually good. I have the Druid as a good sack outlet, but other than that... Not, a, not many of, of my creatures I, I like to sacrifice here. It's fine though, I think. Same with the disposal. I don't have a bunch of creatures that I'd be happy to sacrifice. I guess 
Best case scenario, I can get a uh, mystery token for the disposal. Um, now I need to cut one card, and I actually don't know what it should be. To me, it feels like keeping that 15 creature. Uh, n you know, 15 creature is really nice regarding the mysteries. And I kind of like the Field Creeper for um, Delirium, but it, it's clearly the weakest card of my deck, so I might just cut it. I guess I'll pick Harvest End, but I will not play that. Uh, I don't think I want to play Crawling Sensation, but I guess this could be a better option in some matchups. I wonder if Tyke Builder is, is... maybe it's actually good here? It's kind of decent with Grapple with the Pass and Vessel. Not a huge fan of the card, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put cards that I'm, you know, less happy with, I guess. Don't really want to get milled. This could happen, so... I need to cut two things. Uh, Field Creeper is among the weakest cards. I wonder if Mao is actually good in that deck, because I have very few Sacrifice Outlets. I think I like... We, the spinners are not great, but they are creature and I don't have... You know, those are my only two 4-drops, so I think it's kind of nice. Fragment might not be great. Builder... All of these I like. Creeper... And I think everything here I like a decent amount. Yeah. Uh, I'm not splashing any color, and I'm trying to go to the late game. I, I don't think the fragment is actually great in my deck. I mean, it's not exactly what I'm trying to do. Also, it's a, it's neither a removal, neither a creature. And I want to have as many creatures as possible for the mysteries. So I think I, I don't like that too much. But I guess if I cut that, I kind of have to keep the Field Creeper, because it would... You know, I still want to have at least two artifacts for the Delirium, I guess. I don't know. So there was the Mal, the Creeper... Oh, and the Builder. Yeah, I guess I can cut the Builder. It's looking decent, but I think... Having a, 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 no, a second artifact for the Delirium is, is really nice. Not sure how good Abandoned Mal is gonna be. It's looking decent-ish though. Thing is, if I don't have my Primal Dude, I don't really have any good sack outlet. Interesting. Not sure this is exactly the best build. Could see different things. I could see Stoic Builder being decent with Vessel and Grapple with the Past. Uh, Farbog Revenant is main deckable, I would assume. Um, good news is that I have quite a bunch of sideboard options, but I think I'll, I'll just stick with that. Uh, ooh, actually, I have very few black cards that I did not realize. I will still play more than 4. So maybe 11-6 seems about right. Yeah, that sounds five. I, I have five black cards and they all cost one. I guess four and a half even. And all my black cards are removal that I don't need to cast, you know, right away, most likely. Okay, I think I'm gonna submit that. Seems pretty good to me. I'm not 100% sure that the the final build I made is is you know the best one. I could see some cards in the sideboard being better option, but kind of like you know chipping at least two artifacts for Delirium. I think fragment is not looking very good, even though it gives me mana. And I want my 15 creatures on mysteries. And even though Field Creeper is pretty weak, I think given the Mysteries and the uh, Delirium, it's going to be decent here. So yeah, that's going to be the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. If you did, feel free to leave a like. You can also uh, leave a comment, obviously, share that video or um, subscribe to the channel. That'd be really appreciated. And I hopefully see you uh, in a few minutes for round one.